Hello, my creepy lovelies, and welcome back to another cliffhanger tech story. This one is called Field Trip. Let's begin, shall we? Elise says, how's the museum? Molly says, boring. <sighs> Mr. Ambrose plans the dullest field trips, and I can't find the bathroom. There must be one somewhere. Wait, I think I found it. Never mind. It's just a door leading to some stairs. Looks like they go to the basement. I don't think you're supposed to go in there. That's weird. What? I hear this strange sound. It's coming from down the stairs. What kind of sound? Sounds like muffled breathing or something. Well, I definitely don't think you should tell Mr. Ambrose. You should probably just go check it out by yourself. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting out of here. Crap. The door shut behind me. It won't open. Are you kidding? It must lock from outside. Try banging on the door. I am. There must not be anyone around. Is there another way out? Just down the stairs. I don't think you should go down there. Well, she doesn't really have a choice now, does she, Elise? <laughs> it's the only way. What about that creepy sound? It's probably just a boiler or something. I'm going down the stairs. Okay, just be careful. Now I'm in a long brick hall. Sounds coming from up ahead. I hope you don't get in trouble for being down there. Whoa. This is weird. What is it? A room full of old stuff. Paintings, statues, pottery. It must be old museum exhibits. Where's the sound coming from then? I don't know. It stopped. I'll keep going. I'll look around. Well, let's look around. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't. I just want to see what's down here. Whoa. That is creepy. What? It's this weird suit. It has black gloves and a long black coat and a strange mask. It's made of leather and has a long beak like a bird. Oh, physician's suit or whatever. There must be a mannequin underneath. Creepy. I bet it belonged to one of those medieval plague doctors, yeah. Plague doctors? I read about them in history class. When the bubonic plague broke out, towns hired doctors to come and cure it. The, they wore those suits to avoid infection. But they never managed to cure anyone. Huh. Why'd the suits look like that? You know, with the long beaks and everything? I don't know. <laughs> they mostly just performed weird experiments. That's freaky. I wonder why the museum stopped showing this. Who knows? <sighs> Focus on finding a way out of there. Okay. I'll see what's at the end of this hall. Better hurry before your class leaves. I just heard footsteps. They came from back in the storeroom. Is there someone in there? I don't see anyone. What is it? Elise, that creepy suit. It's gone. It's gone? Are you sure? Yes. I'm looking at the empty stands. I can see prints in the dust where its boots were. Maybe someone came and moved it. I was only gone a second. Well, it couldn't have moved on its own. Eh, you don't know that. <laughs> now I hear that breathing again. Where's it coming from? I don't know. Something really weird is going on. I'm getting out of here as fast as I can. Good. Running down the hall. Do you see any exits? No. But there's some kind of office up ahead. I hear someone coming. It's probably a museum worker. Okay, I'll go toward them. I'm hiding in the office. <laughs> okay, if you're really that worried. Looks like a security station. Oh no. Someone's opening the door. I got her killed, didn't I? <laughs> Molly? What's happening? Crap. It's a security guard. He found me. Isn't that a good thing? Now I'm in trouble. He says I'm not supposed to be down here. He's going to call Mr. Ambrose. Well, at least we'll get out of that creepy basement now. Ugh, I wish. I told the guard about the suit. Now he's making me wait in his office while he checks on it. To make sure I didn't do damage to it or something. He locked me in. That sucks. Just sit tight, I guess. I see something on the security monitor. There's someone walking down the hall. So? It's the plague doctor! What? The long coat? The creepy mask? It's him! How is that possible? I don't know. But you have to believe me. Okay, I believe you. Someone must have put the suit on. I would have seen them.
Molly's suits do not walk on their own. Oh, no. The plague doctor is walking toward the guard. He's holding something. I think it's a scalpel. Okay, that's pretty creepy. What's the guard doing? I don't think he notices. Can you contact him somehow? I'll bang on the door. I'll try his walkie-talkie. That's better. It worked! He's pulling out his gun and turning around. What's happening? He's shooting at the plague doctor. But the bullets aren't stopping him. Are you serious? Oops. <laughs> the plague doctor stabbed the guard. What? The guard fell on the floor. He's bleeding everywhere. Get out of there. I'm locked in, remember? There must be some way out. I'm searching the desk. Found a big ring of keys. Oh, that's going to take you forever, girl. Maybe, oh, maybe one opens the door. I'm trying them. I hear footsteps in the hall. And that awful breathing. Keep trying the keys. Found one that fits. I unlock the door. Run! <laughs> I'm not even going to try to say that. Molly? Are you okay? Molly! I'm okay. The doctor grabbed my arm. But I got free. Where are you? Running down the hall. I see another staircase. I think it's an exit. Hurry! I made it. I'm back in the museum. Thank God. I'm calling the police right now. Wait, something's wrong. Of course there is. <laughs> what is it? The place on my arm where the plague doctor grabbed me. It's all black. What? The skin looks like it's rotting away. Molly, that's not possible. It must be something else. Soot or something. The black patch. It's spreading. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Did she just get the bubonic plague? Oh, what kind of doctor are you? <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you next time for another cliffhanger tech story.